Hello everyone, my name is Rune and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Oxygen Not Included. So when we left off we had just started some research and uh, we're just going to continue. So I'm going to need a place to grow food. Now temperature is an issue, always an issue in this game. You can see this abyssalite is going to stop that temperature from moving very well, but it will move from here. It will also come down here, and from up here, down there rather. That's very hot up there. So plants can only grow in certain temperature uh, levels, so... We want to kind of place the plants where they're going to grow for the longest amount of time possible. Which is probably somewhere like here. It's because of that abyssalite. It's very hot, so that's probably going to spread quickly. And there's a natural gas geyser. That looks a little bit colder, though. Maybe like here. So, we gotta dig out an area. I, I believe that I can dig up the oxalite. It will still continue producing oxygen on the ground, although I think I may lose some of its weight in the transfer of block to kind of ore. But that's fine. So again, we're going to cancel that for now. We're actually going to leave that oxalate, and then once that's done, once it's produced all of its oxygen, we'll put another ladder, and that can be our oxygen slash uh, carbon dioxide pass-through. Always got to have that. Otherwise, the areas are going to fill up carbon dioxide, no one will be able to breathe, and they'll all just die. Never a good thing. So we are moving at medium speed. Research is soon to be done. Maybe what I'll actually do is set up another ladder. They don't have to go all the way over there to come to there. That's probably a good idea. That'll be our oxygen pass through. Just get rid of that. Find that. And I think it's the end of its, their work time, so I'm going to speed it up. Ten visits remaining. I'm going to turn up the priority on that. A lot of times, they'll fill it up. And then no one will get to it until someone else needs to use it. They won't use it in time. And then they will soil the ground. And that is a big problem when you see that right there. So they soil the ground, flat surface. It eventually spreads out and runs down into the water, polluting the water. And that is something that we definitely don't want. Research is complete. Okay. So we have compost. I don't want the compost to be right next to everything else. What I'm going to have my guys do is go ahead and tile that so that I can dig this area out without the water flowing. We also got a ration box, a planter box, and an algae terrarium. I don't typically like using algae terrariums. While they do consume carbon dioxide, they consume water as well. Now, they intake 300 grams per second of water and output 290 of polluted water. 
Not a terrible ratio, but it is a loss, and water can be difficult to come by. Better start another research. I would like to just use farm tiles instead of these. So, probably research that again. Farm tiles are just a bit more convenient, and I believe that they're a bit more efficient. Let's get the new growing area done. I'd like to get each of my guys their own little bedroom. I think that they like that. See, there's rooms, and you can get morale bonuses from giving them specific rooms with uh, specific... I better not do those right away. Uh, with specific goals in mind for the room. Like a bedroom rather than like a barracks will give more morale. Stuff like that. Okay. Now that that stuff is being completed, go ahead and do that. Definitely dig out that copper. Always need more copper. I want my rooms to typically be four tiles. Which means that. Oops. Cancel that. I have to uproot that. Bristle blossom. And that's where I'm going to store my compost. Wherever that was. Is that refinement? Yes. Go ahead and place two. Okay, so we have our first um, printable blueprint. So we can get another duplicate or a care package. I don't really care about hatchlings right now. They can be very useful. Hatches excrete solid coal as waste. But, uh, I don't have a rancher. I don't have the skills to do that. So, this one is building, doctoring, and ranching with super hard digging already unlocked. And I think that will be very useful. We are lacking in a bed now. Super hard digging will allow us to dig stuff like. Uh, like granite, I think. Where normal duplicates just, they can't do that. Let's go back to base speed. Alright, so we got the farm tiles unlocked. And go ahead. Do that. I think we'll probably need quite a bit more than that, to be honest, but... That'll work for now. Get another research started. Um, I guess plumbing can be useful for sure. Eventually, you just end up with polluted water. There's no way around it. So I typically like to have a tank for water and a tank for polluted water. And you can, uh, you can purify the water to get rid of the pollutants. So you end up with a cycle of polluted to non-polluted, and you just keep going around and around. But you need plumbing for that. Obviously the day ended, so I'm going to sped it up. Let our people sleep. I'm glad that we got the extra cot done in time. Oxygen is doing very well. 
planting mealwood seeds. Definitely the easiest ones for food. They take dirt. Don't even think that they take water somehow. See, they can grow from 10 to 30 degrees Celsius. 23 degrees there. Perfect. Eventually, it won't be perfect. Because things will heat up. Everything eventually just heats up. Everything produces heat. You can see plus 1.5 KDTU per second. Eventually it becomes one of the biggest problems in the game. So we're planting our meal wood. We only have, uh, what is that, five? But that's fine. Eventually we can get some more. In fact, we can get a couple more there. We dig our way through that. Let's go ahead and do that. Open up the area. Does that work? No. Um, you have to uproot all of these plants. Just fine. I am going to have to take out the shine bugs again. Can't have them waking up my guys. Okay. Oh, they finished researching. Good. Okay, we got all that. Continue on with ventilation. I won't be using ventilation for a while, but I just need it, obviously. I think I have a couple more mealwood seeds. But I had, yeah, wait, what? Okay, there we go. Go ahead. Uh, get some more down. It's definitely not enough to feed everyone. I think I will need another oxygen pass through. Carbon dioxide is going to be an issue over there, but that's fine. So we're going to slow everything down. And I'm going to map out what I want their little rooms to be. So I'm thinking probably a 4x3 interior with tiles. Like that. Get a door and a door. Cot. Um, I don't have anything else for that at the moment, but get them some plants and stuff at some point. It's got to be five. Oops. I don't like that. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so that's two. Why did I offset it? Why did I do that? That's done. Door. Tile. I get four interior, I believe. That. Or interior. For now, we'll do that. Door, 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 door. So that's a plant. Uproot that. All that out. Basically, dig all that out. Ladder to there. Okay, 
Get them working on that. Downtime, that's fine. Bunch of cots. And we'll fast forward through the night. Some blossom seeds do make edible berries, but they require water for basic growth. Now, do they output anything? It doesn't say that they do. Maybe we do that too. If they don't output water, I'll do it. Because I can get water, but I don't have any place to put water. Two visits remaining. I'm just going to have them clean it now. Turning these priorities up. Am I not producing enough oxygen? Seems like we are. The gas pressure is maxed out. Probably just not reaching all the areas that it wants to. And the sand fell, that's fine. Till it's almost done. Up that dirt, take it down there. Nice. Okay. I'm going to wait on research. I want everyone to be working on these uh, rooms here. Get that done real quick. These two. Oh, these things require light. I know what it is. Why can't I plant that? Hmm. I don't know. Bunch of sand fell. But uh, I just noticed the time. <laughs> Been playing for a while here. So, that'll be all for today. Kind of got lost in this. It's a very good game. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, really. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with more of this. Bye.